how many forex traders are there this is the most common questions because 20 years ago when i was young and i was trader i was alone in my room and i asked this question how many traders right now around me trade and i will try with my team we gather some data and i will share with you and we will discuss in this video hello this is Igor from Matrix Seeger YouTube channel and today we will answer this question how many forex traders are there in 2023 there will be around 14.5 million active online traders according to professor Robert Stalin research papers based on this number if you just a little think there is one trader in every 561 people usually males between 25 and 50 years old in previous studies, there were around 13.9 million online traders, and as we can see, every single year the number is bigger and bigger. So, if we think a little bit, we will realize that the most traders that we can find are from Asia, because it's the biggest continent, North America, because the trading is there, Europe, because the London exchange market and the London and the, and the main point of forex trading world then africa the continent just develop every single day middle east very rich part of the world south america high developing continent as same as africa and of course very small portion of this world central america and okania so right now i will try first to talk about europe and then we go and see the earth and think a little about about whole world and all those problems first like i said there is a uh, almost 400,000 people in the united kingdom that trade forex every single day because the london and uk this is the central country of the world and all biggest forex trading companies have headquarters in london of course germany is the most developing country in europe and it's a second place and of course we have a uh, italy france romania spain netherlands etc etc you can see that the most traders or the most capital will be concentrated in a strong big countries either in europe north america or worldwide and as we know the biggest and most famous investors are just from us then canada australia new zealand london from the english language locations and very strong countries worldwide let me start our tour and just uh, see this this earth and try to figure out some major stuff that we need to know so right now we're looking at uh, united states and canada this is the the place where the biggest traders the most most billionaires investors hedge funds mutual funds we can find on earth and i very very often talk about united states as the place where people people really know to trade why because the traders here are well educated mostly because they have a lot of certifications and the finra certification is something that you need to have in us and a lot of young people from economy studies and uh, very a lot of young people have the license or pass exams or read a lot and we have well educated traders here this is the, my personal experience because in a lot of traders around the globe and i always realized that the most educated people when you talk about uh, um, risk management are from united states of america and maybe because of that u.s traders know to manage risk the best what i want to tell you just here now and beginning there is one very important fact if we talk about united states of america and uh, that fact is that uh, the 30 percent of all retail traders it's a small retail traders around the globe uh, are people who will trade between zero to 12 months and they will give up so the people in the first 12 months usually i i say 30 percent of them will give up and the uh, rest of them will trade couple years someone will trade the uh, rest of the life and that number is not small it's about 25 percent of the people but there is one interesting statistical fact that i just want to share with you and that fact is that people lose money in trading not just forex in stocks commodities everywhere in stocks it's a difficult to to lose money if the stock market is, is in bullish trend 
trend. And if you buy wrong stock or good stock or excellent stock or small stock, on the end, you will have some kind of profit. In forex trading, you don't know what will happen. There is a high leverage, high risk, and a lot of people use only technical analysis in trading and use short time trading strategies where you just think that the price uh, can be predicted and use that strategies with a lot of entries and a lot of exits and because of that high commissions and on the end you can lose a lot of money and a lot of people lose money like i said around between 85 to 95 percent of the people lose money in forex trading this is the first fact that sometimes uh it's very terrifying and uh it's, it's not it's not the only thing that we want to 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 share when we talk about traders on the other side retail traders trade with a 5.5 percent of capital wall so if you think a little bit 95 percent of capital are in the hands of the big corporations big banks hedge funds mutual funds etc etc and the retail traders and only five percent manage but on the other side 95 percent of all traders around the globe are retail traders that trade from home and try to to trade or use cfds or use uh, stocks or commodities or some platforms or deposit fifty dollars or five hundred dollars or five thousand dollars and uh, for me the interesting market is asia the first is asia because a lot of traders come from from asia the problem with asia and africa is uh, education in trading uh, based of our knowledge we have we have a, we know a lot of uh, brokerage agents and they tell us that people from asia and africa lose money a lot because of poor risk management and this is the biggest problem there however people from australia canada and new zealand us uk they manage better by average this risk management a lot of them risk one or two percent per trade the maximum the small risk but the problem is that forex trading is not popular as much as 10 years ago we have increase of the number of traders but because the 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 planet almost 8 billion people live on this planet a couple of years it was a uh, 7 billion people and uh, this is the this is the main reason but the, if we want to see the percentage of the traders around the globe i can tell you just that it's not good and uh, i would like to have more traders i would like the better market i would like that uh, a lot of retail traders have more success in trading but the problem is and will be the poor risk management and um, I hope that in the future uh, brokerage companies will try to create some accounts when you cannot be able to risk more than one or two percent it's 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 a really tricky and a dangerous way of thinking but I hope that uh, the, this problem with risk management is the biggest the biggest issue and I hope it will change so we can have more successful traders around the globe uh, the interesting market for me is the south america the most interesting market and a lot of my friends that i cooperate with come from south america uh, the biggest problem here the traders do not have money enough to deposit to start trading a lot of them have have uh, accounts for five hundred dollars maybe below one thousand dollars and if you think a little bit if you're a very good trader on the end of the year around the globe the annually you should have 20 percent of uh, of a profit very good traders and look this if you have one thousand dollars on the end of the year we have you will have one thousand and two hundred dollars it's a not big amount and you will be devastated if you know that you work all year and now you have $200 so I hope that that the, the solution of this problem is that a lot of a lot of traders should trade either for prop companies either to to get money in prop shops or maybe to try to invest in forex or stocks only if they have more than fifty thousand dollars investments but if you think a little bit if you have fifty thousand dollars investment maybe you will try to invest to buy a good website to go with to FBA Amazon business or in blog business or to invest in in some company and startup etc I know 
because uh, to risk fifty thousand dollars one hundred thousand dollars in forex today is to risk and i understand people why they do don't want to invest in forex and i hope that something will change however I hope that you like this video and that you like these numbers. We will try to collect more numbers and uh, it is very tough to have accurate data because uh, all these estimations are all only estimations. The real numbers know only brokers. So I wish you a great day and bye bye.